Welcome to Wonderville. I'm Sabina and here's your quick tips video for today. Ways to make real-world connections in STEM. Just as there are so many ways to plan your lessons and deliver them to your class and with your students, there are many ways to bring in real-world connections into your curriculum. And I'm sure as you dive deeper into it, you will find so many different connections and ways to connect your curriculum and your local community. For one, go outside. As simple as that, go in your local ecosystem, your schoolyard. You can also venture out a little broader into your neighborhood, into your community. See what industry and activities are happening nearby, close to your school that you can reach within walking distance. Bring community members into your classroom. Invite an expert or an enthusiast in the field to come talk about his or her experiences, what they do, as well as their personal experiences. And do active research with real resources. Local newspapers are a great way to gather material. Use news clips from TV programs, um, magazines, primary source materials are all great and bring it alive compared to the textbook. Connect concepts to you and your students. Share with them your own experiences that connect examples of concepts or lessons learned in your own life and help facilitate your students to make their own connections with experiences they've had. And make the activities look real. Use published scientific articles. Find a scientist's journal and notes from his own or her own observations. Use scientists, a scientist's collection of data that you have to analyze. And as they work through their work, publish their work, share it. Share it with the school community. If there's a blog or, or there's a Twitter page, you can also take it broader into your community. Write an article for your local newspaper or take an issue to your local council or even start an awareness campaign. Make it real for them and that they are actively sharing and teaching within their community. As a quick example, when I taught a, a unit on forests and trees, we first started in our schoolyard just with classifying trees, identifying the different types, comparing different types of needles, different types of leaves. How are they similar? How are they different? And then we were ready, we moved out into our neighborhood where we went walking daily and we had strategic stops along the way where we were able to then start classifying the different types of trees and looking for different indicators. We became botanists as we drew the leaves and needles and made our notes of descriptive writing about what we were seeing. And then there was the day when we became instant environmentalists. We found a group of trees in our uh, little green space where the branches had been purposely broken off. And you could tell that kids had been playing with it. There's nothing like that to make a real world connection. And as we went home, I could see the protests starting within the kids of how to take care of your environment. We also had a local member of our community come in and talk about what it was like to replant an old growth forested area that had been set on fire by careless human behavior. And we also brought in our own experiences of being trees. We had to write about how it was being a tree knowing that we were going to be cut down because there was a much needed new neighborhood development. So those are some ideas and, and now it's your turn. Give it a try. Pick a local topic, uh, concept, cause that connects directly with your upcoming science topics and give it a try. Thanks for joining me. I'm Sabina, your Wonderville teacher. Until next time.
keep it connected, and keep it real.